guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of like a book shopping vlog plus um, a book haul. You guys have already watched all the clips I got when I went book shopping. I only went to Barnes & Noble. Most of my books I have purchased online. So sorry that section is a little bit shorter. Tell me if I should redo it and like actually be vlogging, like talking and stuff when I am shopping and I will do that. Um, if I do do a, like another book shopping vlog, I think I'm going to do some like small independent bookstores. So let me know if that sounds interesting to you guys um, and I'll do that. But yeah, I'm just going to show you all the books I have. I actually have it in this big bag right here. But like I said, I have done a lot of online. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of like pull and go. So enjoy first book i have here is gluten-free grocery shopping guide my mom just actually gifted me this and it's in the bag so i thought i would show it um but yeah it's kind of fun go ahead and do all the books that i've purchased online recently i'm pretty sure all of these are from thrift books if you guys don't know what thrift books is you need to use it i'm not sponsored or anything like that i'm just a huge advocate because you guys can get a whole bunch of different types of books different editions um in different ranges of like um condition you can get really poor quality books or super like brand new books and they're usually discounted because it's like thrifting books and i just love it so much and if you get like 500 points you get to buy um a free book which i actually did which i'll mention some honorable mentions um at the end of the video books that i have purchased i just haven't received yet so anyways i recommend thrift books um use it so these are all my thrift books I will say all of these are for school, so I didn't care about condition or anything, I just got the cheapest one because I have a lot of English classes and somehow we're reading all of these books in a semester. So the first one I have here is Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass. I have no idea what this is about. It looks like a very old book. Um, it smells like an old book. It looks like it's, it looks like it's almost sonnets. Oh, poems. Yeah, so that's cool. I am reading this for a class and that's why I have it. Next one I have, this one is probably the worst quality book I've ever received, but that's fine because like I said, it's for a class. Um, but that is Henry David's um, Walden. Um, this one is all marked up by a Mr. Noah W. Noah Williams. So he's an interesting fellow, um, but yeah. That is the second book. Activity of the Oatman Girls. So um, this looks pretty interesting. I don't really have much to say about these books because I literally have no idea what they're like and I'm not expecting you guys to want to pick these books up um, since they're like college student like books that I have to read. But anyways, the next one I have, I'm actually super excited about this. That is The Collective Poems of Emily Dickinson. I've never read anything by Emily Dickinson. Actually, that's a lie. I think I read a few pieces last year for an English class, but I haven't like just, I haven't really jumped into it and I'm super excited. I wanna watch the Dickinson show because I feel like it would just be super good. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, we love Dickinson. Next, I have The Picture of Dorian Gray. I feel like this one has kind of like gotten popular. Um, this one kind of had a time on um, book talk kind of like the fall academia book so I'm super excited about this I'm glad that it's a reading assignment in my class uh, because it's probably not a book that I would have picked up before but there is some hype surrounding this one so I mean it's obviously like a P1 classic so I'm excited to read it next one I have is Clotel or comma the president's daughter so apparently Thomas Jefferson had a child with one of his slaves Clotel is the child and so this is just telling um, about her little life and I'm super excited about it um yeah i actually bought this one for fun because one of my favorite short stories is the yellow wallpaper and so this is the yellow wallpaper i loved the cover of this penguin classic um but it also has some more in it so it has the yellow wallpaper her land and the selected writings of charlotte perkins gilman i believe um but yeah super excited about this i just feel like this cover is so pretty and if you guys are like interested in short stories read the yellow wallpaper it is so good it's one of my favorites i read a freshman year of college and my life has not been the same since last one i have out of like all these random classic books is edgar Allan poe's it's his only completed novel and that's the narrative of arthur gordon pym of nantucket i'm actually currently reading this one um but yeah so far it's really wacky um i don't think i had ever read anything from edgar Allan poe prior to this book so 
the more you know. Let's get into the books that you guys actually probably care about, the books that you actually know. So I went into Barnes & Noble wanting um, American Psycho, Jeanette McCurdy's I'm Glad My Mom Died, and then I think there was another book that I was wanting, but I'm forgetting it. So I was like, I'm only gonna get three books. Um, and guess what happened? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven books. The first one, I'm just gonna grab I Have You. Um, very interesting. I wasn't going to pick this up, but I saw that it had the buy one, get one 50% off. And this is a book that I was looking at on thrift books actually. Um, and I honestly probably should have bought it on thrift books because it would have been cheaper. But I'm excited about this. I remember, um, I think it was my junior year of high school. One of my friends read this and she loved it. And then obviously the show and stuff came out and it's so good. Um, but yeah, I feel like this kind of goes along with my next book, which is American Psycho. I actually did end up picking this one up. I personally love the movie. I don't know what that says about me. Um, it's probably Christian Bale, like as an actor, but I just want to read the literature that the movie is based off because I've never read the book. So I think it'd be super interesting and they kind of like kind of go together, kind of crazy psycho people. Um, but yeah, I'm like scared for this, but also super excited. I feel like this is the ideal fall book for some reason. So yeah. And then some other books I got, I actually got The Great Gatsby. Um, I enjoyed this movie. I enjoy the story. Um, I'm, I thought this cover was super pretty and it was only $10. So I went ahead and got it. Um, I think it's really cool. And this is a book that I just like randomly remembered and I was like, I kind of want to read that. It feels like a fall book. And that's the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Um, this is a horror novel. This is actually from the same author that wrote Final Girls. I haven't read it, but I saw it. And I kind of want to get that one too, depending on how I like this author's writing. Um, but yeah, it's about a book club. I thought it was super like fun and vampires, one of my favorite things. So super excited for this one. And then I have the Bromance Book Club. Like it has a 50% off sign on it. Um, but I almost got this entire series. I'm pretty sure it was five books and I was going to do it. I was going to get all five, but then I saw two other books and I was like, well, I'm going to get those instead of, um, getting the complete series. But this is a Bromance Book Club. It is a romance series about some guys who have a little romance book club and it's just the, the love story of two characters. So super excited about it. I mean, like I said, excited. I have no other words. Getting the rest of that series, I ended up actually getting the, I think this is Dreamland Bill Billionaire series. So the fine print in terms and conditions. I feel like I've seen so much about these two books. And when I saw both of them, I was like, oh my gosh, I want them right now. I've seen too much about like Iris, yeah, Declan and Iris. I feel like I've seen more about them than I have um, Sasha and Rowan, but I am super excited. I think the the covers are so cool and I just think the idea of it is really fun. So yeah. Now I'll mention some of the books that I've purchased, but just haven't arrived yet. I was trying to push this off as far as I could to try to get those books to arrive, but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the books I ordered. Actually, this is crazy because I kind of forgot about this, but I purchased Barbarian Mine, which is the fourth book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. It actually releases this upcoming Tuesday when I'm recording this. Um, it'll be out by the time you see this video, but super excited about that. And then I actually ordered Maybe Now. I have two copies, Maybe Someday, and then Maybe Not. Um, and I, I guess I just ordered two Maybe Sundays instead of the Maybe Now. So. Um, super sad about that, but it's coming on September 20th, which the last two books from Amazon that I purchased I actually bought a book called notes on heartbreak by Annie Lord I saw I think a TikTok or it on bookgram. I'm not sure but super excited about that I, It's like healing from a breakup and it seems really good And then the last one of course is it starts with us by Colleen Hoover That's not coming till October though. So obviously that wasn't gonna be in this video and then the last book I bought, one from Thrift Books, was Tess of Dubbervilles by Thomas Hardy. Super excited to read that. That's just a random classic that I really want to try out. That is all the books I bought. Um, let me let me count. I am going to include the ones that I don't physically have. So I think I showed you guys 21-ish books in this video. So let me know if you've read any of these, if you are going to read any of these. I'd really appreciate that. Um, yeah, super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon.
peace and love bye guys